How good are you at saying no? I'm Eleanor Rose, and in today's Empowered Musings, I want to challenge you over this holiday season to get comfortable with saying no, to practice saying no. And here's why. As models, we hear a lot of people talking about setting boundaries and sticking to boundaries. And um, it's all about boundaries, right? Staying safe, staying comfortable as a model, we need those boundaries. And that's valid, we do, they're important. But having boundaries doesn't help if you don't know how to enforce them. That's really crucial. So let me say it again. Having boundaries will not help you if you do not know how to enforce them. Thus, this challenge. And this is something I've put myself through and something I am still actively practicing and working on. And I've been thinking about it a lot recently. And so that's why I want to bring you this challenge so that you can join me in actively practicing saying no. So, pretty much says itself, practice saying no. And one of the reasons I'm bringing this to you now is we're in the midst of a election season full of turmoil and we're launching into the holiday season and soon that means most of you are going to be seeing your families. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, chances are sometime in the next two months, you're gonna be dealing with your family. And that, more than almost anywhere else in your life, is a really excellent place to start experimenting and practicing setting boundaries and saying no. So first, you're gonna have to get in tune with where you're a no and where you're a yes. Because practicing saying no doesn't mean anything if you're just, if you don't know when you actually wanna say yes. You have to practice both. But additionally, saying yes means nothing if you don't ever say no. We want to be people pleasers and we're taught, especially as those of us designated female at birth, to say yes to everything and everyone and to give and give and give. And what I've had to learn my yes means nothing if I'm saying yes to everyone. So I, I could talk to you honestly for hours about why saying no is so important. But here's what's really important is you need to practice until you get to a point where you can say no with an open heart, without shutting down, without getting triggered, without freaking out. Because in all aspects of life and at photo shoots, there's a big difference between no and no. You feel that? No. No. You can say it lovingly and firmly at the same time. Nope, I don't do that. People move on. But if you say no with a question mark, if you shrink, decent people will move on, but not all photographers are decent. I had to learn that the hard way myself. If you read my blogs, you know that I um, shouted no several times while I was being assaulted and I was not listened to. So this is a very important topic for me. And over the years I've learned how to say no. And I've been challenged as I'm building Empowered Muses by my business coach to practice saying no again. So Marketers at malls, there's another reason the holiday season's good for this. You know all those kiosks in the middle of the mall where they try to trap you into things and make you sample things? Practice saying no. I'm gonna leave you with a funny story. A few weeks ago, I was at a street fair with my mother and there was a uh, guy there handing out Bibles. And I knew he was gonna ask, so as I went by, I just automatically said no with a big smile very firm, polite, no, as I kept walking. About five steps later, it sunk in that what he'd actually asked me was, are you a good person? 
and I look at my mom and she looks at me and we just burst out laughing because I gave him a clear, confident, happy no to, are you a good person? But you know what? That was okay. He was baffled. He was confused. But it really sunk into me that I had gotten to a point where I am confident and okay with saying no to people, with not giving my time and talking to them because I think that makes it better if I don't buy or take what they're selling, right? So this holiday season, at the mall, with your family, with the people passing around petitions, if you are not a resounding heartfelt yes, if it does not feel good to you, use it as an opportunity to practice saying no so that you can say yes to the opportunities that are right for you. I love you, muses. Talk to you next week. Happy Halloween.